What's up everybody, welcome back to the John and Q channel. In this video, I'll be going over this beast right here. All right, my personal rifle slash patrol rifle that I use on patrol. I get a lot of questions asking what kind of rifle I use. I'm gonna be going over the attachments. Before we get into that, we gotta make sure this thing works. We gotta make sure it's fully functional, of course, and it's just fun to shoot, so <laughs> let's get into it. All right, so quick overview. This is a Smith & Wesson MMP15 Sport. All right, uh, to be honest, I traded uh, a 19X for this gun, plus a few hundred bucks, so it wasn't too bad. I instantly fell in love with the way this shot, the way it felt, the amount of recoil, well, lack of recoil, honestly, and just the overall integrity of this gun. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, you got a budget gun, Johnny. You got a budget gun. <laughs> Well, I mean, technically, yes, this is a budget gun. It's kind of like cameras. It doesn't matter what body you get, as long as you get some good glass, you're golden. And this is basically what this is, all right? Smith & Wesson makes solid rifles, solid pistols. So to say that this is budget, all right, go kick some rocks. But overall, we got a solid Smith & Wesson MP15 Sport body, right? Stock. And for the optic here, for the optic, we have the Hollow Sun 403R 2 MOA, and I do want to upgrade this at some point to uh, another Hollow Sun or potentially an EOTech. Maybe on my next rifle I'll get an EOTech, but it, but for now this will do. As far as the red dot, it's easy to maneuver. Roll this dial; it's got about 12 settings. You can go from one to 12. I find that when I go all the way to 12 and I'm in the daylight. I mean, I, I can see that thing perfectly. It's a perfect red dot and it does not disappoint. It does not disappear on me. It's solid, great, bold red dot and that's what I need in the daylight when I'm on the range or if I ever need it for patrol in the daytime. So, that Hollow Sun 403R, solid optic. I don't care what they say about Hollow Sun. I don't care if they say it's budget. This is a solid red dot and I would choose Hollow Sun. I have Hollow Sun on my freaking macro. I love Hollow Sun. Speaking of sights, I have a rear Magpul rear sight right here, just flips up and it does coat witness with my uh, red dot and the front sight as well. And this rear sight helps a lot because for whatever reason, if I lose a red dot, I flip up the rear sight and it does coat witness with the red dot and my front sight. So that helps a ton. And up on the rifle, we have a light. Some say this is a budget light, but it's worked for me on patrol so many times during night shift. So this is the Olight with a pressure pad and doesn't seem so right now, but it is fairly bright and has a great beam to it. The only thing that I don't like about this light is this. If I ever get caught on something during clearing a room or an apartment or a house or whatever it might be, if it gets snagged on something, this might come off. This won't come off, but hitting it here that's no bueno, don't like that. So I'm gonna have to get something a little bit more secure uh, on, on the rifle. And then my foregrip up here, it's a BCM foregrip, nothing too major. I'm a big, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about the foregrip. It just, if I wanna hold it, you know, just like this, there's not enough room to have my entire hand grip the entire thing. So I kinda have to do a C clamp just like this, kind of around it, have my pinkies uh, under the, uh, the rail and kind of over the the foregrip, which I'm not a big fan of, so I'll have to maybe change that in the future to kind of a, like one of those uh, triangular uh, foregrips, which I think are super stellar. I've, I've tried some of those, and man, super good stabilization on the rifle, on my stance and on my grip, so yeah. And for my magazines, I use basic P mags. I like the little clear window versions, and so that is what I use. Nothing too fancy, uh, but it does work, so. Oh no, I'm all empty, which means I gotta go fill up and get some more ammo in this thing and go practice some more. So guys, I hope uh, this helped you. I get a lot of questions asking about my rifle and what I use. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see other guns on this channel being reviewed, other uh, firearms as long as long guns, rifles, pistols, shotguns, let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next Johnny Q video. Thanks for watching. Be safe and go train.
Thank you.